emotions after a game like this, Dick? Uh, everywhere, honestly. I don't know if there's one one word that sums up um, all the emotions I felt tonight and all the emotions um, that I guess overcame me right there at the end of the game. But I'm excited for one, uh, excited and just uh, thankful for this team we have, uh, this team, this coaching staff, uh, and be able to just to, to continue to fight. And when things were up, things were down, a team that never wavered, that never blinked, that never uh, doubted us coming out on top. Uh, I'm thankful for that, honestly. Where does that never waver, never blink, never doubt come from? Uh, just the, the group of men we have. I mean, just uh, the commitment we we made to each other uh, going way back into this offseason and uh, just the commitment that we continued to make throughout this season, even when, when, when things were bad, when we were three and five, uh, just being able to stick together and knowing that the team we had, um, the talent we had, the guys that we had, uh, that we could, we could see ourselves in this position. Uh, and even with a tough game like tonight, to be able to come out on top when things were up and down, uh, nobody ever blinked. Can you take us through that last play, the touchdown to Amari? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're bringing all out. We knew they were bringing everybody, uh, made, the, made the protection call. Uh, offensive line did a great job. I think a couple of guys probably made Superman blocks, blocking two people at once. Uh, and they just knew I had to get the ball out. Um, and the defender actually played it pretty well, uh, being inside right there. But Amari running his route, being strong, was still able to, to go make an attempt at that. And the uh, ball popped right back up into his hands. And uh, it was, was just great. Has Amari been even better than what you expected when the trade happened? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, as I said, I've, I've seen this guy play for a long time. I mean, playing against him in college, I knew just how great he was. Uh, I was almost, I guess I can say, I'm astonished that we were able to get that trade. Um, and so I guess if you say that, well, I'm like, well, if we're getting a trade like that, well, what's wrong? Uh, and then to get him and to see everything turning out and playing out the way it is, we're very, very fortunate. What were your thoughts uh, when you when you realized you really were going for that fourth and one? I never doubted that uh, that Coach Garrett would go for that fourth and one. Uh, our backs have been against the wall for, for a few weeks now. Uh, and it's always, and he preaches how it's about going forward, going around, going over. Uh, our obstacle, whatever we have to do. And I think that exemplified that uh, right there. Um, in overtime, fourth and one, um, believing in his guys and just us going out there believing in each other and being able to execute and Zeke another hard two-yard run uh, to, to keep the game going and give, us, give ourselves a chance. Well, better quarter, three, <coughs> three quarters. You got two interceptions and a fumble. Right. Yeah. What flip? Uh, nothing. I mean, honestly, I just, I just stayed true to myself, stayed true to what I was doing. and. I uh, didn't get down on myself, and as I said, I mean, I credit my teammates, my coaches, everybody just uh, believing in me and letting me know that on the sideline. Uh, going in that overtime, I mean, I told Co uh, Cooper Rush after the game, he said, uh, he said, don't blink, you're the best at it, and that meant a lot to me at that moment, just to go out there and know uh, the, a guy that, that, I, that I, I mean, in a way compete with for jobs, you know what I mean? I mean, a guy that we put in sh a shared commitment, uh, and just for him to say that was just a simple, like, he's got my back, this whole team's got my back, uh, and that was special. Did your mind flash back at all to your rookie year against these guys in OVT? It did. Um, when we went out there to the coin toss, it did. Uh, and I said, well, some things, uh, you know, just ha just kind of happened that way. And I said, well, I guess we, we've got to go finish it off the right way, and we're able to do that. What has changed for you in the fourth quarter? I mean, it, it seemed like you, on this win streak, you've had strong fourth quarter drives, and the game-winning drive is like today. And certainly you were lights out in the fourth quarter in overtime tonight. I mean, as I said, I just, I just I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to stop. Uh, and when you have teammates and you have coaches like you do that support you and that push you and um, believe in you and everything, that, that no matter what goes on, no matter the interceptions, no matter the fumbles, uh, they've always got your back. Uh, it just allows me to just keep my eyes forward and, and stay focused on, on my goal. And I've just been able to do that here. Uh, here. What's going through your mind when Maher's jogging out there to attempt a 62-yard field goal? No doubt about it. I've seen him, I've seen him hit it before. Uh, and I knew he was fired up. He's a... He, he missed that one earlier, uh, and I knew that bothered him. I knew he wanted to go out there and redeem himself. Uh, he's done that actually a bunch. I mean, maybe not a bunch. I shouldn't say that, but a few times missing one early and coming back and making a huge kick for us. Uh, and that was just another example of that. And that just shows the heart of that guy. Of, uh, yeah, I missed one earlier. I shouldn't have missed, but I'm going to come out here and make a 62-yarder that the team needs. And uh, great kick. Which of, those, which of those mistakes early on for you are you going to hurry back and see what you did wrong and, and want to change it? Which one bothers you the most? Uh, I mean... I know what I did wrong on all of them. I mean, I guess uh, pretty. I mean, I. I mean, I guess the the sack fumble. Uh, I mean, I know the inter the first interception. I mean, the guy made a good play. He came off of a came off of a corner route right there on the tight end and made a good play. Uh, I guess I can say I could have thrown it earlier, or whatever. But I mean, uh, that was a good play by that guy. Uh, and then later, I just completely missed the throw. I mean, it was just a high throw on the four route. It was the right place to go. It was the right read, uh, and just missed that throw. Um, but I've got to stop. I've got to stop fumbling the ball uh, in the pocket, point blank period. So uh, that's that's one that's going to bother me. 
Well, Dak, Jason talked about the resiliency of this team and fighting through adversity. How do you, as a person, keep the mental toughness to just say, hey, I got to keep moving forward? Yeah, it's easy. Uh, I've, been, I've been through a lot in life. Uh, and I've never, I've never questioned anything, never asked why on anything. I've just always believed in, in my purpose uh, and just been able to keep pushing forward. And uh, today was special. Today was a special day, an emotional day. I mean, um, I had two, two friends here, uh, Kendrell and Zane, uh, and they just mean a lot to me. Uh, and just to see those guys before the game and just everything that they've been through in their personal life. Uh, I actually wrote a K and a, a K and a Z on my arm, uh, and I looked at that all fourth quarter long, knowing the adversity that I suffered uh, or the adversity I had early in the game. Uh, and just kind of use those guys as inspiration uh, just to get me through that fourth and knowing those, those are two, two young men that are watching me. Uh, and it's important for me to go out there and be my best. You gave those cleats away. Just talk about doing that and making their day before the game. Yeah, I mean, Kendrell, uh, he actually designed those cleats. Uh, so that was special. Uh, and I credit Kendrell for, for, for giving one of the cleats to Zane. Uh, I mean, that shows, that shows his, his character and the guy he is. So, I mean... Um, as I said, those guys inspired me so much, uh, so much. I mean, this is, a, as I said, it was an emotional game. It was a special game, a uh, special week for me to be nominated. Uh, being one of the Walter Payton Man of the Year nominees meant a lot to me. Uh, I'm not somebody that, that, that uh, really weighs a lot in, I guess, on awards and things like that. But anytime you get noticed for, for things you do and your heart off the field, um, I take a lot of pride in that. Uh, so that meant a lot for me just to be able to see those guys, two guys, two young men that I give credit for, give, for allowing me to even be a nominee for the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Uh, as I said, they're just a huge inspira uh, inspiration to me, and it was just important for me to give those guys those cleats. You guys, yeah. you guys were three and five at midseason. Now you got a two-game lead in the East with three to go. How did, how did that happen? As I said, we have never wavered. We never blinked. We knew what the team we had uh, in training camp, um, and, and we knew the team we had when we were three and five. And we didn't stop. We're never going to stop. As I said, our backs are against the wall, and our backs are still against the walls. So regardless of whatever lead we have, uh, this is a team with a mindset and mentality that wants to go one way, and that's forward. Uh, we're going to continue to do that uh, no matter what we have to do. You said you knew Amari was good, but did you know he would have this type of impact on the offense and what he's opened up for you in the passing game? Yeah, I mean, he's an incredible player. Uh, as I said, yeah, I knew he was good. I knew he was going to be able to get separation and um, get open and make great catches. But when you just see... Uh, the run after catch and breaking tackles and just being that great of a player. As I said, I'm just thankful we got that trade. What were your thoughts on uh, Zeke's day today? Uh, hard fought, hard fought game. Uh, Ezekiel LA game. I mean, a lot of bruising runs, a lot of short runs uh, that that turned in a little bit longer runs as the game went on. I mean, credit the offensive line for for giving him giving him holes, but he was just physical and dom uh, dominating all game long. Nothing short of what Zeke's been doing all year long. Jack, in terms of winning the NFC East, what does this victory do for your grip on that? One more time. In terms of winning the NFC East, what does this victory do toward that goal? Uh, I mean, I guess it gets us one step closer. Uh, simple as that. But I mean, our focus is on next week, uh, and that's Indy. Uh, and we're worried about that. And um, I know if we go in there and we get that win, it gives us a better chance of doing that. So that's all the focus is going to get another win next week. Well, talking about Indy, obviously, they upset Houston's nine-game winning streak today. You know that's a tough place to play, and it's certainly going to be a big challenge again next Sunday. Uh, I've never played there. Uh, so, I mean, um, looking forward to it, looking forward to going on the road. As I said, we've got a great team uh, that's got a great mentality and mindset right now, and we're just looking forward, and um, they're next, and they're in our way. Do you Appreciate feel like it. you guys answered Grugier Hill at all? Ha-ha, <laughs> there you go.